Hi, my name is Matt, and this is a video on how to avoid getting gray bars while working in notebook software. First, a demonstration on what we mean by gray bars. I'm going to enter full screen in notebook, and I'll start taking this object and moving it down. Now, as we move it below the bottom of the page, you'll see that it extends the page, and we start getting these gray bars in the margins. Now, anytime you do that, you can always reverse it by moving it back up into the page, and if you just leave the page and come back, we can see that it's back to normal. But to avoid getting those bars in the first place, here are a couple tips. First, if you go to View, choose from the Zoom menu to be in a mode called Page Width. That'll help you determine when you're going too low on the page and it's going to start to give you those bars. Another thing you can do is often enter into full screen while you're working. So if I go to the gallery here, and I'm just going to take an image and pull it out to the screen. If I'm not in full screen mode, I might accidentally take this and put it too low on the page. And then when I enter full screen, I'm surprised by the fact that we're getting the gray bars. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this house back up a little bit, exit full screen. And what I would say is as you're placing objects on the page, whether they're text, images, a pen, anything else, Often hit the full screen button to give yourself a preview and to help you realize that I can move this house to the very bottom of the screen, but no lower. Because as I start to move it lower, I'm going to start to get those bars. This has been Matt from Tech Equipment. Thank you very much.